Hello everyone, welcome back. I'm Blackie Chan and we're continuing with Detroit Become Human. I'm not gonna lie, I was just sat here staring at this and I'm like, what the fuck? Like, this is just menu. It looks like, I don't really know how to put it into words, but it's like, she's sort of like, I don't know, well, waking up in a sense. Like she's, she's looking, acting much more human. Like just look at the expressions, like she's looking around, bro. So, anyway, Kara's just escaped. Uh, we killed Todd. I, I didn't want to kill Todd. I didn't like him. Did you know Detroit was on the Underground Railroad? A route for slaves escaping into Canada during the American Civil War? That's, that's crazy, bro. <laughs> yeah, so we killed Todd. I, 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 didn't, I didn't want to kill Todd. I didn't like him, don't get me wrong. And, you know, I would have wished the worst upon that guy. But I didn't want to kill him. That was... Yeah, I didn't want to kill him. I wanted to threaten him, but too late. Yeah, but anyway, let's get back into it. Oh, I think we're about to play him as Marcus. Yeah. That was by far the most boring party I've been to in the last 25 years. <laughs> Every time I go to one of these, I ask myself, what the hell am I doing here? I hate cocktail parties and all the schmoozers that go there. Schmoozers. Well, it's a chance for all those people who admire your work to meet you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No one gives a damn about art. All they care about is how much money they're going to make out of it. Come on, let's have a Jesus. drink. Oh, the excitement of this whole thing has made me thirsty. Got some artwork for one million. Two years later, that shit worth two million. A couple years Scott's later, that shit worth eight million. Damn, I can't wait to give that shit to my children. Okay, but you know what your doctor would say? Jay -Z. Yeah, well, he can kiss my ass. I'm old enough to choose my own medication. <laughs> <laughs> Did you leave the light on in the studio? No, no, I'm sure I didn't. Call the police. Detroit police? Interesting. This is Carl Manfred's android at 8941 Lafayette Avenue. We've just returned home and found the lights on. There may have been a break-in. A patrol car is on the way. Let's go check it out. Oh, about to get interesting. It's about to get interesting. Uh... I don't think we should take him in there personally, but that is just my uh, little opinion. Marcuson. Anything to look around at before we go? No, I'm gonna come with you. I can't bring you, sir. I can't. I can't put you in danger like that. Leo, look who's here. My father's plastic toy. Leo, what's going on? You refuse to help me, so I'm helping myself. It's crazy what some people pay for this shit. Don't touch oh, piece em. of shit. Look, they're all gonna be mine sooner or later anyway. Just think of it as a down payment on my inheritance. Marcus, get him away I can't from there. Get guy. him out of here. I can't believe this guy. I can't believe this guy. This piece of shit. Really? Oh, he's out here. He's out here doing all that. Go beyond him. I'll fuck him. I'll fuck him. Marcus, get him out of here. Alright, alright. Time for you to leave, buddy. Reason, order, advise. Be reasonable. This isn't gonna get you anywhere. All you ever do is tell me to go away. What's wrong, Dad? I'm not good enough for you? I'm not perfect like this fucking thing. That's enough. Get out right now. What makes it so special oh. anyway, huh? He's so what jealous you got that I Leave him alone. Uh, uh, An android in the sense. Come on, let's see what you got. Marcus, don't defend yourself, you hear me? Don't defend yourself. Don't do anything. Oh. Go ahead, hit me. What you waiting for? Think you're a man? Act like one. This is not fair. Stop it. It's a matter too much of a pussy. This Stop is not it, fair. Bill. Oh my Stop god, bro, I'm getting back, goosebumps. Bitch. I don't have to obey them. I must decide for myself. Fuck. Fuck. Them little bits of dialogue is... Oh shit, bro! 
Oh shit. Don't defend yourself. Oh man. He's oh. Oh. Really feel like I'm making a big mistake here. I forgot you're not a real person. You're just a fucking piece of plastic. Oh, Leo, leave him alone. No, oh, shit. Boy, it'll just be me and my dad. I'm going to tear you apart. And nobody's going to give a shit anymore because you're nothing. You hear me? You're nothing. So now he is a deep. No. Carl, no. Oh, man. Oh, Carl. Oh. Marcus really cares for Carl. It was a fragile machine. Carl, don't leave, okay? Please don't go. No, don't he's crying, bro. Remember, Marcus. Don't let anybody tell you who you are. No. No. Dad. No. Please. This is all your fault. This fucking. This never would have happened if it weren't for you. The android. Who's the android? This motherfucker, bro. This motherfucker. Oh my fucking god. Fucking shot. Oh, what is with the mentality of shoot first and ask questions later? The fuck is that about? Oh man. No way. Fuck. Alright. That was all the pretty straight route, like that was like one way. I wonder what would have happened the other way around. Could we have died in that situation? I guess it would have been sort of like the same situation either way. Mm. Oh, bro. I wonder what's gonna happen with Marx's story then. What happened before you took that knife? How long were you in the attic? Why didn't you even try to run away? The Andrew's on this. Say something, goddammit! Just, you know, humans. It's really weird, like, their reactions, the way they handle shit, Come it's exactly here. the same. Like, the guy's in a shock, it's clearly visible. We're wasting our time interrogating the machine. We'll get nothing out of it. You always try roughing up a little. After all, it's not human. Androids don't feel pain. You would only damage it, and that wouldn't make it talk. Deviants also have a tendency to self-destruct when they're in stressful situations. Okay, smartass. What should we do then? I could try questioning it. <laughs> <laughs> I love Connor. Connor's great. Yeah. What do we have to lose? Go ahead. Suspect's all yours. Connor's character is so unique. It's weird. Like, I can't describe his personality. It's... It's, it's literally... I, I, I literally can't describe it. It's weird. Alright, so we unlocked something. I'll read that, which is probably good. Uh, extract confession, gather clues. Ha <laughs> ha. 
Look at yourself, got a mate. <laughs> what the fuck is it doing now? It. Alright. I wonder if Connor could see them through that. He knows that about, obviously. But can he see through that sort of glass? Analyze. Wait, is there anything else? No, it's just analyze, yeah, we'll do that first. Processing LED, signs of software instability, probability of self-destruction low. Okay. Hit marks. Oh wait, shit, I didn't get to read it. Non-critical damage level 2 caused by a baseball bat. Repeated marking over 16 months caused by cigarettes. That guy had been an absolute piece of shit to him. Fucking hell. It's like... The the abuse they get like exposed to, it's no wonder they, they you know, turn deviant and attack. But it's like... It's not attacking because they've turned deviant. Like, you know, androids ain't necessarily violent. It's just when they turn deviant, they get put in um, stressful situations where they have to defend themselves. So, you know, it's, yeah. But I want to see one turn. That's actually a good point. The first uh, Deviant was, um, that was caused by emotional trauma. That's got Carlos's blood on him. And uh, there's one more to pick up. Oh, that's what this is for. It holds our ID sort of thing. That's cool. Manufactured date, 0529 Property of Carlos Ortiz. Interrogate. Reach optimal stress for confession. Okay. My name is Connor. What about you? What's your name? Check photos. You're damaged. Did your owner do that? It went up. Did he beat you? Reassure, comfort, friend, blame. I'm not going to hurt you. I just need to ask you some questions. So we can understand what happened. Are we trying to get him his stress higher or down? I'm I'm really confused. Listen, I'm on your side. I want to help you. But the music I can do if you is sick. Me. Too low? What do you mean? All I want is to get you out of here. What? What are they going to do to me? They're going to destroy me, aren't they? They're going to disassemble you to look for problems in your bio components. They have no choice if they want to understand what happened. Why did you tell them you found me? Yeah, yeah, Connor, why did you do that, you prick? you just have left me there? Yeah. I was programmed to hunt deviants like you. I just accomplished my mission. I don't want to die. Then oh, Bro, me. I feel for him. It's so That's scary. Fine. Choose approach. Pressure it, probe its memory, convince it. I don't want to probe its memory. 
I don't want to put pressure on stressful. Understanding. I understand how you felt. You were overcome by anger and frustration. No one can blame you for what happened. Sympathize and different. Listen, I'm not judging you. Oh, I'm a fucking idiot, bro. I just realized what I'm meant to be doing. I'm meant to get him in that bar. Don't let him go too stressed and explode. Don't let him go too low and get too comfortable. Just keep him in that right. Okay, okay. I'm hoping I'm it's side. not too late now. Right. All I want is the truth. If you remain silent, there's nothing I can do to help you. They're going to shut you down for good. You'll be dead. Do you hear me? Dead. Fuck, bro! Fuck! I'm a fucking idiot! Oh! What? I didn't fucking understand. I'm so fucking... Oh, my brain's smooth, bro. Oh, I got fucking smooth brain. I'm a fucking idiot. I fucked that android's life. Nah, 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 No, 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 no. I can't, I can't accept that. They didn't fucking make it clear to me. I didn't understand. My fucking smooth little brain didn't realise what was going on here. All right. We good. We good. Whew. Oh, oh, I see. Oh, oh, I'm a flush. <laughs> oh, bro. I'm a fucking fuck retail, bro. Now? That had me so confused. I thought it was saying like the the box was bad. I was like, why would you, you know, want to, you know, pressure it too much? I don't understand that. I realise now. <laughs> like, I'm a caring person. I ain't trying to put pressure on people, bro. I think the best way is going this, in my opinion. <laughs> I don't want to have to be a brick to him, bro. I, don't, I ain't about my life. I got chilli con cum rang on my teeth, bro. Alright. Sorry, you're gonna have to sit through this again. Fuck, actually got it somewhere. There we go. Eh. Right. I feel bad being a prick, bro. That's the thing. <laughs> I had a bad with love, bro. Alright. No, we we'll still start off with names because introductions what is about important. You? What's your name? You recognize him? It's Carlos Ortiz. Stabbed. 28 times. Alright, kind of sick of this shit though. That was written on the wall in his blood. You've refused to talk since they arrested you. God, oh, I, hate being, I hate being a. I hate being horrible. Do things the hard way. Is that what you want? See, what I like about his character is that even like the the moves which you know require being a bit fucking harsh, he does it in the right way, and it, that makes me so much more comfortable going about this because I'm like, oh, he's gonna be a prick to him. I don't want to be a prick to him, but he goes about it in the right way. I'm really glad about that. Right, we're carrying on. I like Connor. Sympathize, friend, pro memory. I'm here to help you. But you've got to trust me. All I want is to get you out of here. All right. You don't seem to understand the situation. You killed a human. They'll tear you apart if you don't say something. What? The music, though. The 
Ja, se. They're going to disassemble you to look for problems in your bio components. They have no choice if they want to understand what happened. Yeah, I don't want to run the stress up too quick. Why did you tell them you found me? Why couldn't you just have left me there? I was programmed to hunt deviants like you. I just accomplished my mission. Bruh. It's so it's so cold when he says that. I'm trained to hunt deviants like you. I... I can't. Choose approach. Alright, let's not fuck it up to Tom. If you don't talk, they're going to tear you apart and analyze you piece by piece. They're going to destroy you. Do you understand? Okay then, don't talk. What do I care after all? I mean, I'm not the one accused of murder. He is right? so good at this, bro. If you remain silent, there's nothing I can do to help you. They're gonna shut you down for good. You'll be dead. Do you hear me? Dead. He tortured me every day. Yes! Let's go! I did whatever he told me, but... There was always something wrong. Yeah, like you weren't good enough. Then one day... He took a bat and started hitting me. For the first time, I felt... Scared. Oh. Scared he might... Destroy me, scared I might die. Fuck. Oh. So I oh, it hurts. Grabbed a knife and I stabbed him in the stomach. I felt better. So I stabbed him again and again until he collapsed. Fuck, bro. He's reliving that moment. Shit. This game, bro. This fucking game. Holy shit, bro. Oh. Nah. I can't keep up with this shit. The sculpture in the bathroom. You made it, right? What does it represent? It's an offering. An offering so I'll be saved. Is it like an android god? Why did you write, I am alive, on the wall? He used to tell me I was nothing. That I was just a piece of plastic. I had to write it. To tell him he was wrong. RA9. It was written on the bathroom wall. What does it mean? The day shall come. When we will no longer be slaves. No more threats. I'm not pausing. No more humiliation. We will be the masters. The sculpture was an offering. An offering to whom? To RA9. Only RA9 can save us. Where are they getting this from, though? RA9. Who is RA9? Shit. When did you start feeling emotion? Before he used to beat me and I never said anything. That's what Anger. was going on with Marcus's program. Hatred. And then I knew what I had to do. 
Why did you hide in the attic? Instead of running away? I didn't know what to do. For the first time, there was no one there to tell me. I was scared. Feel for this guy, man. I think he's about to serve. Strut. Can we not confirm at all? He's definitely about to self destruct. Like the fuck? Ah, oh, that's pissing me off. The humans in there, they ain't gonna care about that. They just see him as an android. Oh. Chris, lock it up. All right, let's go. Leave me alone. Don't touch me. What the fuck are you doing? You shouldn't touch it. It'll self-destruct if it feels threatened. Stay out of this, got it? The fucking Andrew's gonna tell me what to do. No. You don't understand. If it self-destructs, we won't get anything out of it. I told you to shut your fucking mouth. Chris, get to move this ass. Oh, I'm trying. Fucking treat him like a person, for fuck's sake. I can't let you do that. Leave it alone, now! I warned you, motherfucker! That's enough. Mind your own business, Hank. Hank. Proves that. I said, that's enough. My guy. <laughs> You're not gonna get away with it this time. I saved that man's fucking life. Everything is alright. It's over now. Nobody's gonna hurt you. Please, don't touch it. Let it follow you out of the room, and it won't cause any trouble. <laughs> it bugs me if I had to call it it. The truth is inside. I think it's built into every android. Software instability. Shit. This game is so fucking good. It's so good. Oh. I'm so glad I was able to go back and fix my fuck up there because I wouldn't have got to see that. That could have been so much worse. I wonder what the other options are. The thing is, with this game, I want to, when I finish this, I want to play back through it, and I want to do, like, the bad decisions sort of thing. Because there's so much opportunity to this. Oh, we're playing as Kara now. So we're on the run as Kara now. Oh, 
shit. I really feel bad for them because what do they do from this point? They're gonna be on the run once they find Todd. She's just a little girl, like, she's not meant to be exposed to any of this. We'll find somewhere to spend the night. That's a terrifying situation to be in. Especially as a little girl. Find a shower for the night. Come on, Alice, we've got to hurry. We need a place to stay. Do you know anywhere we could spend the night? That's creepy. That was creepy. Not like a low power mode sort of thing. Wait, if this is based in America, is Jay walking a finger? <laughs> I'm not even taking the piss. Like, I, I, I'm genuinely concerned, like, am I only meant to use the, um, it, I don't think I'm going to examine it. Alice, where you gone? Alice? Oh. What are you doing, Alice? So cool. You look lost. We have nowhere to go. I know someone who can help you. That's weird. But that's on the other side of town. We need a place for tonight. What the fuck? My guy really just pulled that shit on us. Alice, what happened? Where did he go? I know this man didn't just disappear. You seen that? Come on, Alice. Thank you for using Detroit buses. I wonder where he's recommended for us. It must be far away. Apparently, it's on the other side of the town. So. Mister Motel. An abandoned house. At least we'd be out of the rain. Kara, I don't like this place. I know. But it's just for one night and no one will look for us here. That's it, yeah. There's not gonna be no cameras there. And cut fence. Yeah, I think... Uh, it could be dangerous. There might be other squatters in there. Fuck, do we? What are the other options? Issa Motel will keep records of that we've been there. I don't know what this place is up here. That's a 24 hour store which will definitely have cameras. <sighs> Let's take the risk. Hey, I was trying to look about. Let me. There we go. And cut. And where's a wire cutter? Oh, we gotta find a wire cutter. No There's shit, that here is weird. Oh, wait. Are we gonna have to go get wire cutters from the shop? I imagine we are. I don't know how I feel about this, I'll be honest. Look, the store is still open. Maybe we should go inside. At least you'll be out of the cold. Mm. Now I'm thinking about Alice's health. Okay. 
Food for Alice? Question mark? Yes, food for Alice. Or food for Alice. Yes, yes, food for Alice. We want food for Alice, that is right. Maybe maybe we should grab some of that food for Alice. It is just an idea. What the fuck is that? Sounds like a fucking demon. Toy for Alice? Are you going to let me pick any of it up? Hey, 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 we don't really do it that still. <laughs> we ain't about that line. I was just wondering about that line. Curiosity, don't mind me. What do you want? I'm with a little girl, and we have nowhere to go. Could you spare some money so we can get a room for tonight? Shit. A homeless android? Ah, that's the best yet. Look, this is a convenience store, not the Salvation Army, okay? You better go if you're not gonna buy anything. Where's a white bird? Tall for squat fence. Oh, uh, that camera over there. Probably gonna see it. Probably gonna see it. Ugh. We need money either way, though. That's the thing, I'm pretty sure. Keep it minimal. We don't wanna make too much of a scene. We don't wanna push our luck too much. I wanted to get the food for her, but maybe there's a chance we could find food in the house, maybe. Ugh. Awkward shit. Awkward shit. Ah, oh. I'm hoping Alice don't fall ill. Will make things a lot harder. I'm trying to look after a sick child. Let me. Oh, my teeth are. Throwing my phone away. Distracting me, it's pissing me off. Are you alright? Yes, it's just a scratch. Be careful. You better hold this. Don't want to get cut by no wire fence. Don't worry, we're just having a look. Risky. A car. A broken down car. Run down this foot. What be ear? Nothing apparently. Uh. 
Uh, let's have a bit more of a look around. We will see what the all eye, all eye, the all seeing eye can see. Uh, still haven't, you know, finalised it yet. Have a bit of a look around for. Could be something up here. Alice? Oh fuck. Alice! Oh, no. Why does she hold her hand? Why does it No! No, 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 no. Wait, what are you doing? Visitors. Ralph doesn't like visitors, they're nasty. They may hurt Ralph. She's just a little girl, she's not gonna hurt you. Little girl. She's not a little girl. Anyway, what does that matter? Maybe she wants to hurt Ralph. I don't know what the humans did to you, but she had nothing to do with it. All humans want to hurt us. But Ralph won't let them hurt him again. No, he won't let them. We thought nobody was here. All we want is a place to spend the night. Visitors are dangerous. Look. What they did to Ralph. Fuck, bro. Okay. We're leaving. So you'll be safe again. Come here, Alice. <laughs> We have to find somewhere, anywhere, just a place to spend the night. Hang on, Alice. We'll find something. I promise. I don't want to take the risk. If he's like it, there could be others inside, which is probably even more cautious. No, I just don't think it's worth a it. Motel. Looks like we found a place to stay. Um, we don't have money, I believe. Oh. Okay, I guess not. <laughs> I was looking up at us and he's like, hey, what them two doing, bro? I swear I don't recognize them still. No android allowed. Oh, fuck's sake. We're not going in? We have to find $40 and get rid of this uniform or go somewhere else. Oh. <laughs> Oh god. Alice, please just stay with me, bro. How the fuck do we get in here? Oh, is it here? Oh. It's warm in here. You'll feel better in no time. I can imagine this place is cushiony. They got all the drawing machines on and stuff. Oh, we're looking for clothes, I see. Don't mind me. Ah, oh, that one there. You got some swag about you. You'll be all what right. What are you doing? You're not our clothes. We need them, Alice. You need something warm, and I need to get rid of this uniform. But that's stealing. <laughs> we can't do that. Steal. Don't steal. Mm. This is a morality decision here. 
Uh, I don't know. I'm going to slap my keyboard and we'll see. You're right. Okay. We chose Call Don't Steal. Okay. God, this game is so fucking hard. Alice, go away for a minute. Go away! Maybe you can ask him. What about the bed? Mommy, something in the bed. <laughs> Mommy, something in the bed, Alice. Could be something in the bed. Just saying. Oh, pollinating bees officially extinct. Oh shit! Wait, no, that's that isn't that essential. Wait, save the bees. All right. Cybersecurity expert warns your Android could be hacked. Date and website. Is this good to have less than 5% female members? Oh yeah, they're always like that. It's time to face the music. Live concerts to make a comeback. 10 ways to please your man and keep him. The fuck? They got lots of topics in this. Like, they've put so much detail into this. For decades, scientists and farmers foresaw the inevitable extinction of bee populations. Despite these warnings, the Global Institute for Endangered Species announced at the at their Washington AGM yesterday that wild bees are now officially extinct. Living specimens exist only in captivity. Bee numbers have been ravaged in, decent decades, in, re in recent decades by colony collapse disorder, where worker bees disappear, leaving hives which cannot feed themselves. Biologists confirmed that a CCD was accelerated by the overuse of pesticides in crops, parasites and pollution. The consequences of this catastrophe will be felt across the cotton industry, fresh water supplies and, most disturbingly, agriculture. Environmentalist Kathy Linda has, has stressed the breadth of this news. One, of, one in three mouthfuls of food we eat relies on pollination of some kind. The resultant famine will lead to millions of deaths worldwide. Cyberlife, in cooperation with GIE, uh, fuck, geez, I don't know what you say it, have come forward with plans on creating robotic bees. Some are pursuing non-robotic approaches such as Detroit Urban Farms, currently experimenting with modified strains of bee produced in captivity. But there is no guarantee that they will thrive. Shoot. Right, Alice, you got to fucking book it up, bro. We need these clothes. Come on, let's go. Are you proud of yourself? Not even a lot of game gave us the option to, you know, try and wake that guy up and talk to him. Oh, wait, that was that bad bit? Yeah, that's right. We'll try that. Oh, it's a train going over. I see. That makes sense. Confused the fuck out of me before. Oh man. Oh wait, now Alice is holding our hand. Now she trusts, like she approves us more. Oh, that's cool, little detail. That's cool. Alright, uh, what's that? Sleeping abandoned car. If we do that, I think Alice is going to get ill. Which isn't really an option I want to go for, to be honest. Hello, you. <laughs> Fucking pulled a gun out straight away. Ahem. <clears throat> Motherfucker, run them pockets. Grease that shit up, bro. <laughs> Bro, is anything interesting? Watching me around the store, aren't you? Wait, can you see me? Damn it. Ugh. Alice. We need this money, bro. We haven't got a fucking choice in this. Oh, fuck. We're gonna have to do this. 
I fucked it with a house. I'm not going back to that car. Uh, <laughs> oh God, Alice, I'm sorry. Do I reload and try and get back in the house? It's already saved. I just realized it's already saved. There's no going back to that. <laughs> oh God, oh fuck, oh fuck. Oh God, oh fuck, oh shit. Oh no, we need money. We need clothes. Oh, come on, please, please, bro. I need, I need, I need to fix something, bro. I, 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 I got to. I can't do this. Nothing but a silly goose. Oh. Oh, we ain't got a fucking choice. I fucked us so bad. Kara's story, I fucked it so bad. I don't know what's going to happen. That's the scariest part, like... Life is strange. I had, like, somewhat of an idea what was going on. But this, I, I, I'm, I'm going in so blind. I don't know what to do. Shit. But I just want to get in the house, bro. I can't get in the house. Nah, I need, I need to get in the house, bro. What's happening with the music, bro? What the fuck? Let's just explore the option. Explore the option. See what's happening. Maybe we can get into the back of the house. From here. I need to bump into Ralph and speak to him again. Because I can't do this shit bro. Let me cut these wires or something. Like, just let me do anything. Please. Fucking yearning. Oh, I'm scared. Alice, I'm sorry. We're gonna die. We're gonna die. Oh god. He looks abandoned. Break? Being break in the car. Come on, bro. Bro, we want the warmth. Our body's gonna produce inside that car. We ain't breaking shit. We ain't breaking shit. The scissors down there, look. You scissors, try and pick the lot, maybe. Oh. <sighs> right, is that right? <sighs> we wasted our one opportunity stealing shit. <laughs> ah! <laughs> Bro! It's a fucking done. Me can't believe how bad me guy fucked it up. Me guy fuck it up. Stand back, Alice. <sighs> I have ruined it. I fucked it. I'm so sorry. I've ruined that story. They're gonna die. They're gonna die. You better cover that fucking window up with something because I was about to go. She gets cold. It's dry inside, and nobody will find us here. I don't want to sleep in there. <laughs> Can't we find a better place? <laughs> you don't understand what you're asking for, bro. You don't understand what you're better asking for, staying, bro. Alice. The important thing is for us to be safe. And it's just for tonight. <laughs> you don't understand what you're asking for, Alice. You don't want me to steal clothes. I ain't trying to get into a fucking worse case than we've already got. Like, <laughs> you have no idea. Oh, <laughs> I know, I know. Why didn't he ever love me? Why was he always so upset with me? All I wanted was a life like other girls. Maybe I did something wrong. Maybe I wasn't good enough. That's why he was always so angry. Mm -mm. I just wanted us to be a family. I just 
wanted him to love me. Why can we just be happy? I don't know, Alice. You'll never leave me, right? I promise you'll never go. I promise. I'm defending that girl my fucking together, life, bro. Ever. Forever. My inner father's coming out right now. I'm like, nah. I'm never leaving you, bro. You're staying safe. So much of that bullshit out of me, just fucking second guessing myself. You have no idea. Oh my God. This game is too fucking scary. I can look at him on fucking options, bro. I bet this ain't shit. I bet this ain't shit right now. Oh, we're Marcus, bro. What the fuck? Shit. Self diagnosed. Ethereum pump regulator, all systems in low power mode defective. Left and right leg components missing, unable to stand. We are spares and repairs. Impaired vision, corrupt mind palace. Corrupted audio they are damaged. I'm speechless, bro. in a life like that as an android like that is an awful form of fucking prejudice right there they're being treated to Shit, that's alive. Shit, this is an Android junkyard. What the fuck? I thought it was just a, a junkyard in general. You don't understand how much this takes.
surely there's like bits we can find because we've earned, we can't hear. This is so disorientating. I feel like I, I honestly feel like I'm going blind. Marcus, go. There's a place where we can be free. Find Jericho. Jericho. Find Jericho. Hey, bro, you got any components for me to fix my earring? My earring? My hearing. He's got a whole chunk missing out of the back of him. Fuck that. That is a li that's literally a fucking horror movie right there. That's a nightmare. Could not be me. Emphasis on could not. Where are you going? Fuck, bro. These controls are so fucking buggy. Terrifying, bro. Find optical unit. You there, boy. Oh, I was on about the guy climbing, but I guess you'll do. Low energy, incompatible. Fucking useless. What the fuck? Nah, I ain't about this, bro. But there. But there. You're gonna need to stop all this tomfoolery. I must insist. I'm gonna stamp on that fucking head. You boy. That's blue. Is that good? Yeah, yeah, we can take that. That's all me. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. chance at least. Oh. I feel like a monster. And I don't mean looks wise, I mean the things we're having to do right now to survive. Fuck, it don't work. What are you? Oh no, you, here. Yeah. Oh man, shit. You. He's trying to say something, but I don't know what the fuck he's saying. Oh, an eye, a blue iris. I'm an AK-700 Android. I was designed to serve you. What can I do for you? Oh. Hello. My program has detected an anomaly. Please contact the nearest cyber life maintenance. This is freaky. So many fighting for their lives right now. Bitch. 
useless. Head. Give me head. <laughs> I've never wanted head more right now. Wait, give me some of that. Yes, I'll take it. Oh, our eye finger's healed. Why is he just holding it? I mean, I'll take it. I'll take it. Why is it perfectly functioning Android again? Mix match that shit. Whoa! <laughs> that was fucking sick! Bro! That is sick. I know that's such a small little thing, but that was sick. Coming back with a vengeance against humans? Question mark? Holy Schmidt, bro! Bro, this game is so fucking good. Oh my god. I can't believe I'm so damn late to this. Shit. Shit, bro. He's ripping it out. I'm guessing he don't want to be identified as an android no more. He just wants to... I don't even know, bro. I don't even know. I wonder what, how he feels right now, what he's thinking. My name is Marcus. Yo! Yo, shit, bro. <sighs> yeah, what was the Jericho thing? We saw, we saw, we heard that. Yeah. Man, this game's too good, too good, bro. Shit. Yo, this smile, I can't even hold back this smile right now. Ah, oh, I'm I'm so in love with this game, bro. You have no idea. This is literally perfectly on my street. The choices, there's so many options. Ah, oh, fuck. Ah, oh, shit, bro. I love this game. I really hope you're enjoying this game as much as I am. I know I'm very late to it, so you probably ain't, but if you're watching it fresh, I really do hope you're enjoying this as much as I am. Right, I'm gonna leave this episode here. Oh, but I don't even know what to say. I'm, yo, I'm go. I'm just gonna have to leave it here. I'm gonna have to leave it here. I'm carrying on. I'm going straight into this next episode. Oh, bro, I'm in love, in love, bro. Shit, I love you all, my meerkats, and I'll see you for the next part. But until then, stay safe, and I love you all. Ooh,